Hello, so this is Hispanic culture managing stereotypes. As the United States continues to go through a reckoning with regard to racial and social injustice, many people are eager to examine and refute harmful stereotypes about minority groups. Latin Americans are one example of a large population that has been labeled by such assumptions. Stereotypes have contributed to the widespread discrimination experienced by these individuals, which can have powerful effects on overall emotional well-being. So I'm going to, this is another thing that says, so the stereotype at the top, all Latino Americans have homogeneous origins, homogeneous origins. Latin America is comprised of 33 different countries located within South America, Central America, and the Caribbean islands. Just like European countries have different cultures and traditions, so do all the countries in Latin America. There are a substantial number of people from South America living in the U.S. And while many may speak Spanish just like those in Mexico and Central America, their heritage is not one and the same. This is why it's also important to ask a person of Hispanic descent how they'd like to be described and identified before labeling them yourself. So here they have here Latino, that includes Brazil, French, you know, Guatemala, Haiti, Saturn Martin, and then over here Hispanic, which is Spain, and then everything they share in the middle, which is a lot. <laughs> Latin American immigrants are out to steal American jobs. This is another harmful stereotype that often leads to discrimination and assumptions about one's immigration status. High rates of immigration <laughs> do not exacerbate unemployment. In fact, research suggests the opposite. A study from the Bell Policy Center examined the impact of undocumented immigration labor in Colorado. The study found that every job held by an undocumented immigrant 0.8 additional jobs were created. This is likely because the money immigrants spend on local goods and services enables companies to hire additional people. Latino masculinity equals dominance and violence. This is rooted on the concept of machismo, a machismo, a set of cultural beliefs that, about manhood. Machismo emphasizes male strength, honor, emotional reserve, and confidence. Like gender roles in any culture, in any culture, these traits can be harmful, can be helpful or harmful depending on the context. While certain ideals are taken too far, machismo has been associated with sexist attitudes and emotional repression. However, many Latino men are moving away from the rigid gender roles toward a more flexible definition of masculinity, emphasizing positive traits like chivalry and bravery. Latin American women are always the home caretakers and don't tr work traditional jobs. Another common stereotype is that Latin American women aren't part of the American workforce and always default to staying at home and caring for children. This is false. The U.S. Bureau of Labor statistics show that among Latinas aged 25 to 54, over two-thirds are part of the civilian work labor force. There are many high-achieving Latin women um, out in all fields, from law to science and athletics, and per Perpetuating stereotypes won't help them to pursue their goals. However, it is worth noting that prejudice doesn't impact Latina American women's access to certain jobs. Latin American women are vastly underrepresented in, com in fields commonly dominated by white individuals. For example, only 1% of higher education um, faculty identify as Latina. In addition, Latin American women are less likely to be assigned leadership positions only 4.3% of managed positions in my field, in any field, are held by Latin American women. In contrast, white women hold 32.3% of management positions. Oh, yeah. 
All Latin American families have multiple children. This stereotype is harmful because it also plays into stereotypes that Latinas are promiscuous and desta des uh, destined to become teenage mothers. Research has actually shown that Latin American women often have sexual relations later in life than white women. Today, estimated suggest young Hispanic women have an average of two children. Latin Americans are unwilling to learn English. This stereotype is heavily present with people assuming the Latin American people they encounter on a daily basis don't understand a word they're saying, or worse, they mock them when they try to communicate with limited English. There tends to be a double standard in these interactions, as only 20% of native-born Americans can speak a second language well enough to hold a conversation. It's also fed into the education system, with teachers and administrators assuming kids who speak English as their second language don't want to learn. A lack of funding and support for English language learning programs can hamper students' ability to progress in their studies. Finally, disparaging someone's ability um, or poking fun at their accent is sure to do a number on their confidence, even when they are truly want to improve their language. It may seem obvious, but it's worth emphasizing that it's never a good idea to feed into negative stereotypes about an ethnic, ethnic minority. By becoming more educated about this type of messaging, everyone can do their part to create more diverse and equitable spaces in a number of areas. <laughs> Helping Latin American adults and children prosper can only help our country on its long road to progress in reducing racial discrimination.